Hi, I'm Vanelli, and I'd like to show you how to make an average landscape look incredible with Luminar 4. I'm using a beta version of Luminar 4, so the interface may slightly change, but the concept will remain the same. Now, here is an image of the famous Ilian Donan Castle taken by Skylum Ambassador Gary McIntyre. Now, I love the composition of the image. Now, ready for this? He captured this with a mobile phone. Let's start by replacing the sky. New to Luminar 4 is the AI Sky Replacement Tool, which is part of the Creative Tools. Now, we can select the sky you know, from the drop-down list. You know, or we could choose to load a custom sky. Now, here's a sky that Gary created, and I really like how this looks. Now, take your time and experiment with different values Notice how each value affects the sky. Now, when you're editing creatively, learn to look past what you currently see and focus on what you want the final outcome to be. Now, I'm envisioning this to be a night scene, you know, focusing on the castle. So I want to relight the scene. Notice how relight matches the photo to the sky. Now that we converted the image to a night scene, Let's use color to make the image more dramatic. Now choose color from the Essentials tools. Now start by adjusting saturation and vibrancy. Now saturation is global. It'll enhance all the colors in the image where vibrancy only enhances dull colors. Now normally I apply a negative value of saturation to desaturate the colors, then use vibrancy to bring back the colors. However, for this image, it benefits from both saturation and vibrancy. All right, now we're going to direct the light with a vignette. Now, normally a vignette just darkens or lightens the edges of an image to help draw attention to an object. Now, Luminar's vignette tool adds an extra feature called inner light. When this is applied, you can't help from saying, wow. Now here's a trick with working with vignette. I like to take the amount slider all the way to a minus 100 along with the size. Now I can see exactly where the vignette will affect the image. Now I'm going to click choose subject. And now I get to pick where I want the vignette to focus on. I like it right about there. And then I'm going to click done. And under the advanced settings, I'm going to adjust the roundness to bring it in and then the feather just to make it look a little softer. Great. Now I'll come back to the amount and we'll dial it back along with the size. And already you can see how it's focusing. But here's that wow factor, inner light. Now watch when I crank this up. Ooh, look how cool that is. Now here's what it looks like without the vignette. And then with the vignette applied. Now the neat thing about choosing the subject is we can always come back and reposition it. I like it right about here. Notice how we can see the rocks and it's going to draw our eyes to the castle. Now let's make the image appear a little sharper by using AI structure. Now AI structure is one of Luminar 4's newest essential tools. It boosts hidden details and improves local contrast where needed without damaging the rest of the photo. Now this makes the image just appear sharper. Use boost to intensify the effect. And last, here's a little bonus. Now I have to admit, when I finish an edit, I like to see what improvements AI Accent can make now, using the power of artificial intelligence, AI Accent analyzes the image and automatically improves the color, the detail, you know, the tone and the depth of the image. But for this image, I think a small value adds just a little extra. Now, here's the original image. And now the image after applying just a few tools in Luminar 4. For more information or to order your copy of Luminar 4, Visit Skylum.com. I'm Vanelli. Thank you for watching.